start in the northwest always, and then I Just go left to right like you read this one. fetishes. There's a little parrot. Now that one actually may have been a lug of a vessel. I've seen little animal lugs like this. And this actually has the wrap on it with the arrow point and some beads tied with sinew. There's one of a bear. Probably dogs. Uh, bighorn sheep out of stone. And this is a little turquoise eagle. Beautiful little piece. All these little fetishes. The Zunis still make these today. These are gaming pieces. Little cut pieces of broken pottery. They're cut into little discs. And they uh, are used in games. They're like poker chips. And they're also used like dice. These little ones are like dice. You toss them and one side is painted, one side is not. The ones with the center hole, these are actually uh, spindle whorls. These are on the shaft of a bow drill. I should show you a bow drill. I have a couple of them. These are all little spindle whorls with the, with the hole in the middle. Uh, the notched ones, we really don't know what that notch is all about. We find a lot of them with a notch. And it had a function. There's a good one there. But we're not sure what that notch is for. Beautiful little Pinedale jar that Lynn excavated from behind the slab. It followed Tularosa. Tularosa, you see a lot more curly, swirly, spiral patterns. Pinedale is a lot more use of black. It's almost like Cayenta. and a real rough rubble wall. You see the, tr the true south wall is really nicely made. That's 28. Yeah. And 29 and 30. Very good. They probably have two more levels to go. Big Tonto Oya. You see Jeff excavating in the South Pueblo. Just a fabulous piece. This has twin serpents. Quetzalcoatl, two of them on this. Now you notice some pieces are missing on this. And you see it sitting in situ in the, in the film, or in the slides. And these were missing uh, prehistorically. And we see that quite a bit. A lot of times they were broken deliberately when they abandoned that section of the Pueblo. Deliberate kill. It's a wonderful group. These are matates, the turquoise powder. You found the turquoise that they ground into pigments. There's another one. This one had white kaolin, which is used as a pigment, and this yellow travertine. I think it's a travertine. These are gaming pieces again, these big notch pieces. These are polishing stones. It's very smooth stones. These are used to polish the uh, the slips into the pottery. There's a red uh, red pigment as done with this iron, and they would crush sherds uh, to add to the clay when they're making a pot. They'd use a lot of crushed sherds for the temper. This is a wonderful artifact. This is a, a little shaman's jar, it's a little corrugated jar, a stone lid. It was found in C2, and inside. It's a wonderful collection. There's an eagle's claw, some fossil uh, ammonite. There's a little prayer uh, carved prayer stones. They would do little ceremonies and insert these into the ground. Wonderful little, little collection. It probably had perishables in it too, but we didn't see any evidence of that when, it was, when the jar uh, contents were analyzed. The restoration of the top of the wall, we would often do that to, to uh, keep the walls from eroding. After our work was complete, we'd cap the wall, or we'd build a small section to complete the room before we backfilled it. <laughs> 